Good morning. I call to order the Design Review Board for Tuesday, July 5th, 2022. I hope you all had a wonderful July 4th. The first item on the agenda is the monogram shop at 19 Newtown Lane. Is the applicant present? Hello? She may be signing in. I don't know if you want to move on to the next okay. one. Let's move on to the next one. The next item are the plantings and lighting uh, for 28 Newtown Lane. Is the applicant present? Yes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Can you explain your application? Yes. So um, there is the lighting, which we have finally um, chosen the, the lighting that the company wanted. And um, I laid that out for you on L3. And then um, they added a bluestone pathway from the arbor to oh. the to the patio. Okay, why don't you share share your screen so you can point out these various details, please? Because I, you know, I'm not good at that. I'll do my best. <laughs> you ha you've had a lot of practice, though. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just impressed. I muted the background. I was like, hmm, what does this do? <laughs> but what what about the palm trees in the back? Are they okay? <laughs> the palm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me a second and I will get you. Um... Okay, thank you. Okay. Amy good, so we... Amy, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I had some technical difficulties logging on this morning. <laughs> That's okay, oh. thank you. Good morning. <laughs> hey, can you guys see that? I, I, yes, but I don't see a, I don't see a drawing. It's down here. You see that? No. No. You have to click on it, I think. Not yet. No. I I I, I don't see anything. Um, do you, I don't double see click. That. Double click, Becky. Maybe you have to double click. Um. To I open it. <clears throat> okay. Mm, sorry. I don't see the palm trees in the back. Oh, I yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jody, do you think that's what she needs to do? Try try double clicking it, or is there another window open that you can drag over that one? I have them all open and then I'm going back up to new share. Um, so here we go. Oh, okay. Okay. There you go. There we go. Okay. Maybe you want to just point to each of the areas that we okay. want to so, discuss. Yeah, this is um, in this area one, the only remaining um, issue to discuss is this pathway. Okay. All right. And then the other um, issue, which has another whole sheet, which I'll get to, is the ex replacing the existing pathway lights. Okay. Okay. And there are six of those as I gather. Yes, here. there are okay. six of those. Six. Okay. 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 So we'll go to L3 in a minute. Um, so okay. this is a, a bluestone pathway. Um, you can see some of the two by threes are butt jointed together. Some are with grass joints. Yes. Um, it's an additional 90 square feet of, of shall we say hardscape set okay. in bluestone uh, dust. So it's not, you know, none of this is concreted and it's all. Okay. Um, and so that's that would be the remainder of any anything else in terms of the landscape plan. Okay. All right. Do you have any questions? Uh, Tom Parado, good morning. And uh, do you have any uh, comments regarding the uh, additional square footage or 
Good morning, Robert. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Get Good myself, morning. Trying to get myself so you can see me this time. But That's anyway, okay. you can you can hear me. Um, uh, the only uh, comment is that we want to keep those uh, sod joints as tight as possible for uh, you know ADA compliance, a wheelchair, mm -hmm. something like that. Or, um, in the grass joints? Yeah, on that yeah, side. They're, they're, yeah. I think they're three inches, so we'll be lucky if we can keep them alive. Okay. <laughs> All right. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay. Uh, so any, any, yeah. any questions about uh, the lighting? If you could just scroll up your yeah. drawing so we let can me, see the lighting. We have like six one. lights, walkway lights. Okay. Do you, do you have a... You have a picture of the walkway lights? Yep, I'm working on it. Okay. Can you see that? No, you're not. Uh, I think you have to double click again. Here we go. Oh, okay. And and the fixture is the one that's outlined in red, am I correct? Correct. And how, so that's going to face down. And what is the wattage and what type of bulb are we talking about? An LED. Yes. And we've got, let's go. You got, um, The wattage, I've got it. I've just got a list. It's 4.3 watts. Okay. And, and then the lumen output is 2,700K. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Kelvin. Um, and it, actually, you asked for the, the total wattage is 48 watts. That's okay, but per bulb, okay. you're, it's uh, only 4.3 wa watts and it's yes, uh, yes. Uh, 2,700 uh, Kelvin, am I correct? Yes, and okay. this, you know, the, the, the foot lamp is actually, I think it's less than seven. That's um, fine. The, the, I, I just copied the sheet out of the specs for the path and spreading and the seven was for that whole group based on the, the, uh, circumference of the the lamp and exactly. uh, so this is six inches uh, what is the color of the fixture is it black or is it yes, bronze it's black. black black yeah okay um what what uh members uh what are your thoughts uh amy deline uh what are your thoughts on this these items any you know, I think I think the height of them is a, a normal uh, height for a pathway light. So I don't think that it right. seems, you know, too high or too low. So I think it'll illuminate the pathway nicely. I'm assuming these are going to be in the grass um, right outside of the bluestone is where you're planning to have these installed. No, if you look at the the front brick pathway. Oh, and where the there were pathway. existing, yeah, there was existing um, pathway lights there. So we are putting them basically in the same spots. Uh, okay. And it is for the, it's for the front. Okay. And, and I think, I think it's a nice looking it? picture. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Amy, uh, Anne, what is your opinion? Um, Opinions? I think they, uh, I think they look fine. I, you know, it's a down light. It's, it's the correct um, Kelvin's. I, I think they're, I think they're fine. Okay, uh, Cheryl Dayton. Yeah, I think, I think the the lighting I think is good. Uh, it is, it is down, and then you, uh, you need lighting along that pathway, I believe. The, I think it looks good. Okay. And the applicant is, was there one other item you wanted to discuss? The two items were the lamps. So this is the second sheet and the, the other, which was the remainder carryover from the last meeting was the, um, the, 
the bluestone pathway. I think we finally have hit on everything that has that has been asked. Okay. And there's there's no lighting in the back. You're not in the shrubbery or any any place. There's no lighting or no. Okay. Uh, Billy Hajak, uh, I'm sorry. No, it hasn't been brought to my attention yet. Okay. <laughs> there and, and tell me, tell me again, what is the height uh, from the ground to the top of the light fixture? What is the height? Twenty inches. Twenty inches. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Billy Hajek, what is, what is your input on this uh, application? That you uh, the lighting complies with the code requirements. Uh, it's okay. fully shielded and down lighting. So I, I have no comments to the board. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions from board members? Are we okay with this? Okay, then if we are, then I would uh, entertain a motion to approve this application. Do I have that motion? I'll make okay. a motion. Thank you, Amy. Do I have a second? No, I'll second. Thank you, Cheryl. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you, applicant. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Okay. Thank you. And then let's go back for the uh, monogram shop. Is that applicant present? No. I don't think so. Okay. All right. So uh, let's go to the uh, third item, the historic district, uh, the lighting at uh, 4 Lockwood Lane. Is the uh, applicant present? Yes. Charles, oh, Regensburg. Charles Regensburg for David Cool. Good morning. Uh, welcome. Uh, can you uh, describe the application? Okay. I provided a uh, survey. Uh, from the last meeting that the board members wanted to see laid out with the fence, the retaining wall, the existing uh, stockade fence that faces uh, Ocean Avenue. And we have proposed uh, a 32 foot section of stockade to the south facing side of the, uh, the property, 32 feet, and then proposed to uh, a six foot deer fence, uh, wire one inch in diameter uh, fence that will go around the property to the east, to the or along the south, to the east, along the retaining wall, and then up in the front of the house as well to meet the other point, which would be the northwest section of uh, Ocean Avenue. Can you share your screen and just uh, point these various items out to us, please? Thank you. Okay, do you, do you, oh, could you, let's go through each item. Can you do that? So along here, along ocean, you have the stockade fence existing. And then you have a 32 foot section on the south side, then transitions over to deer fence, which is six feet high that carries along to the east side and then along the retaining wall and then back in the front of Lockwood Lane with two, with two, one main gate where the uh, driveway is, uh, to, I think it's to the left. Uh, Billy Hajek, can you, uh, uh, maybe we have your input on this application, please? Sure, good morning, board members. Good morning, good morning, um, Billy. <clears throat> So we'll, I guess we can go and try to go in order um, yes. and discuss each item in order. So the, there's an existing six foot stockade fence on Ocean Avenue. Um, it was installed without approvals. It's uh, buried inside an existing privet hedge. And the applicant is asking to keep the stockade fence and keep it maintained within the privet hedge. Uh, the, the latest survey now shows a a landscape entrance on Ocean Avenue. Um, it's some sort of a, I guess, a service gate, um, but it's not a curb cut. Um, I, so in regard to that fence, my recommendation is if the board is entertaining legalizing a six foot fence, that it be a fence and it be screened um, without, an, you know, without the entrance. Yes. 
<clears throat> and then the continuing that section of privet, uh, I'm sorry, stockade fence along the south property line, I think that gives them some screening from the recent clearing activities that have occurred um, on the former Ayers property, which was acquired by the town with CPF uh, funds, and they're doing a vegetative restoration there. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I don't object to that fencing as long as they're being screened uh, with privet hedge. You know, I think it should be fully shielded with privet hedge. Uh, and then the, you know, the wire fencing, I, I'm assuming it's a black yard guard type fence, but I'm right. not certain I would ask the applicant to clarify. And if it's being proposed on the property line, or if it's, because it's shown on the survey as being on the property line, but Looks like it's in on discussions the line. with them, I thought it was being shifted <laughs> off the property line to allow room for vegetation to grow. So I don't know. I would ask them to clarify that. Yes, that that it's showing proposed, but we are actually putting it tight to the retaining wall. Okay. So there's a, there's a, uh, a approximately three foot plus buffer okay. uh, to the vi village property. Okay. Oh, um, and then as wrapping around to the east and north side, the wood walls, um, they're roughly four foot wood retaining walls. They already exist. Uh, they're, they've been expanded slightly compared to what the design review board approved when they approved construction of the residence. So you're, they're asking for retroactive approvals for the, for the wood retaining walls that wrap around the, the east side and the north side of the property. Um, that's, those are my comments on the application. If, the, if you have any questions for me, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, board members and uh, Cheryl Dayton, uh, any questions, board members? No, I don't have any comment on it. Okay. Um, Amy, Amy Deleen, any uh, comments on this application? The retaining wall is, it's wood. What's it made out of? It's uh, treated, yes, it's wood, a wood wall, treated timbers. Wood. Uh, Tom, Tom Parado, what is your, uh, what is your input on this application? Uh, thank you, Robert, and hello thank again you. to the board members. Um, I think uh, Billy pretty much uh, summed it up. We did have a site visit there uh, with Charles and the uh, property owner, and went over basically what was discussed. I did notice though on the survey that it shows uh, two layers of fencing, I believe, the, the last survey that they had up. I'm not sure, um, you know, two rows. Charles, did that, do you, you see that there? Yeah, I do see that. That's, uh, that's a misprint. Um, it's only gonna be one row of fencing tight to like, the wall. That's like we discussed in the field. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Understood, so we would, you know, want that corrected. And then also, um, you know, I noticed in the last survey that an AC unit, um, apparently not meeting setback, was added to, on the ocean uh, side there, on the um, Ocean Avenue side. Uh, so that, that would need to be shifted slightly. 55 feet being the setback. Okay. I know yes. we're not discussing that here, but it's on there. And if we're going to bless the survey, I just want to be sure that we uh, no, uh, that, we know we that. know that. Yeah. Yes. What? Well, yes. The uh, AC unit uh, has to meet the setback requirements, so that will have to be moved. And one other thing, Tom. What about this gate that's proposed? Um. Yeah, right. I, I, I mean, we, we, we uh, excuse me, on Friday, uh, I spoke with the homeowner and we have now that we're not entertaining that by putting anything there at this time. It's just going to be a, a continue uh, stockade fence that's screened by the privet. So we're not, you're not going to propose putting a gate or an entrance on Ocean Avenue to the client's property. Am I correct on saying that? Yes, at this time. And I also want to note that the AC, um, is going to be measured out so that will be in compliance are there two proposed gate locations 
Is there one on Lockwood Lane and one on Ocean Avenue as well? Or? Yes. Yes, there is one proposed gate on Lockwood Avenue. And so that one's going to remain? That will remain, yes. Yeah, that, that'll stay. But the one on Ocean Avenue, you say that doesn't, that's going to, the fence is going to, it's going to take the place of the, the, the gate. There, yes, there is no gate. It's just a fence right now. We were proposing it, a gate, but at this time we're not uh, entertaining that. So, so, Tom, uh, do we have to have? Uh, should the applicant go ahead and uh, resubmit um, the clarifications to this uh, proposed application, so that you have a. A hard copy. I would think that would be, you know, for clarity's sake. I mean, we could, yeah, verbally mention it here, but you know, later on, once it gets put in the file, it's nice to have the uh, here in the, uh, the actual approval. You know, I, I don't know, you know, legally how that would go. I see Lisa's on, but um, yeah, okay, but okay, we, we'd like to have, you know, what's going to happen in the file. Yes. And as far as as of today, I don't know where you uh, go from, from here. Okay. Good Good morning, Lisa. Uh, uh, can you just, uh, what should we do in this uh, application? Should we go ahead and have the applicant uh, type out and put out uh, the clarifications to, the, to his proposal for this application? Or what is your recommendation? You should have a complete record of what the application is, uh, such okay. as there are clarifications, then there should be written clarification submitted. Okay, thank you. So applicant, thank you, Lisa, so very much. So so then applicant, why don't we go ahead and follow that recommendation? Okay. And then we'll 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 see it. And then you'll just uh, schedule a meeting so we could uh, vote on it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can, uh, Pam, is uh, the monogram shop planters, are they available either on I, the phone or in person? I don't see them, but if you want to talk about them, I don't know that you absolutely okay. need the applicant. Okay, then we could uh, move with that. Okay. Um, we all received the, uh, the application for the monogram shop at 19 Newtown Lane, and we're all looking at these... Uh, Planters. You take a look at your sheet. You can see it's a white planter. There's two of them, I believe. And uh, uh, Billy Hajak, could you just discuss them briefly? What is your input? Uh, good morning again. Uh, so <clears throat> they they appear to comply with the requirements. They're 18 inches in height, uh, 13 inches in depth, uh, and 59 inches in length. And it looks like they're putting little green, I think it's like a green shrub in it. Right. Like in, it looks like that. Yeah. Uh, it's like green with flowers or something. Yeah. I oh. mean, the, the, act, the planter itself complies as long as the plant material uh, doesn't oh. come over the sides of it. It should be, it, it looks to be acceptable. It actually looks, it, you know what it is? It's geraniums. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's geraniums. Right, Cheryl, you're the plant expert? Yeah. That, that <laughs> as long as there's no climbing vines, uh, <laughs> need trellises. Uh. Uh, Amy Deline, what is your <laughs> input on this? I mean, I think, I think the planters are, you know, I think that they are uh, with, with, what's inside the planters. And I think that the plantings are, are pretty. I think that they're a classic geranium that we see all around the village. And I think it looks nice. Okay. Thank you. Any other comments or questions from the board, uh, board members? If not, then I would entertain a motion to approve this application. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Thank I'll you, Ann. Uh, do I have a second? Cheryl, I'll thank second. you. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that takes care of that item. And lastly, uh, I would like to 
create a committee for the uh, Alamo shop because there's some questions regarding the awnings and some other ideas we need to, in this situation, we need to work with the applicant and, and also uh, help guide them with the various uh, guidelines that we have for the, his, for the uh, East Hampton Village. So creating a committee, I'd like to have two people. Uh, Amy, would you be available? Yes, I would love to. Thank you. And Anne, would you be available? Um, probably not this one because I'm going to be in Connecticut for the next two weeks and I'm not sure it probably needs to happen within that time frame, I would think, Robert. Okay. Then, uh, uh, Cheryl, Dayton, why don't you and Amy both, uh, work on this together? All right. Thank you, Cheryl. And did thank the, you. Uh, did, did the, the awning that was there, they put up, is that, had been, had that been taken down? It was taken down the next day. Okay. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to help them with the, you could help guide them. Well, All right. To revisit this application because the, uh, there's some issues with it. Okay. So we want it to fit within nicely within our, uh, village guidelines. Okay. So uh, are they open? They're open for business. For business. Okay. Okay. So I'll let, I'll let Mr. Roth know that you've created a committee for him. Pam, thank you so very much. And if you could, uh, you know, provide the contact for our two uh, board members to meet with Mr. Roth. Will do. Okay. Thank you All so right. much. Um, are there any other questions before the board or board members? Uh, Pam, any other unfinished business or anything we should address? No, that's it. Okay, thank you so much. And thank you, everyone. And if there are no other uh, questions, I would entertain a motion to approve the adjournment of this uh, board today. Um, I make it a motion. Thank you, Cheryl. Do I have a second? I'll second. Thank you, Amy. All in favor? Great. Aye. Thank, Aye. Th thank you, and see you at the next meeting all. Thank you. Aye. Very good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.